Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your RAM for gaming and performance on any Windows no matter if you're on a laptop or a desktop. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to watch it till the end. Also, I have rolled out new channel memberships so if you guys want to become a channel member and show some support, do join the channel and let me know that you have become a member. With all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is always creating a register point. It really helps you out a lot, so just make sure to do it on for the safer side. Simply search for create a register point on your PC, and then over here you have to look for your local disk C, which names system. Simply click on configure, and then make sure to turn on system protection. Then click on create and name it RAM optimization, something that you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving the integrity of your system. If you want to restore every settings back, you can always one click restore without any data loss. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Alright, step number two is the new RAM optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This is a must to do thing because it has these three folders. First one is the RAM priority and over here you have to select the priority for your RAM. Now once again to check it you need to search for system information on your PC and then look for the installed physical memory that is 32GB for me so I need to run the 32GB RAM registry. It could be different for you, you can choose anything from the preset and if you don't like it you can always reset to default on one single click. Now the second thing you have to do is the temporary file cleaners. You need to right click and run this as administrator. Once it opens up, you need to press any key to continue and it will start deleting all of the temporary files. Once it is done, open up the third folder which is the ISLC. Simply right click to run this as administrator. Okay, once you open up this program, you need to set the list size. For that, you need to know your RAM. Once again, I use 32 GB, so open up calculator and then once it opens up, multiply 32 with 1024. It gives you the amount of memory in megabytes. You need to simply divide this thing by two and this is the value that you need to put over here. So it will be 16384 MB and then set the free memory is lower than set this thing to 1024. Now, once it is done, you can simply click on Perch Standby List and right after that, you need to set your wanted timer resolution. Now, for the wanted timer resolution, you need to set this thing to 0 0.50 and right after that, enable custom timer resolution and then simply click on Start. Right after that, you will also find your ISLC polling rate. You need to make sure to set this thing to 1000. Now, once it is done, you need to simply minimize this program. Now, let's move to the next step. That is virtual memory configuration and for that you need to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you are over here you need to go over to the advanced section then for processor scheduling you need to set this thing to programs and for virtual memory click on change and right after that you need to set your custom memory size. So. For that set the initial size to 1361 and for the maximum size you need to open up calculator once again, multiply your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me with 1024 and that will give you the memory in megabytes. Divide this thing by 2 and you'll get this number. You need to set this thing to the maximum size over here and then simply click on OK. Now that will do all of the job. 
Next step is open up PowerShell and simply run this thing as administrator. Now once it opens up, you need to type in the first command that is get hyphen mmagent and simply press enter. Now that will give you the memory compression. It is set to false for me, but it could be set to true for you guys. Now if you have the memory compression enabled for you guys, you need to set this thing to disable mmagent and mc. You will find this command in the description as well. So simply type in the same way I am doing it and it will set your memory compression to disable or false. Disabling your memory compression will help you to improve your FPS because it will compress less memory for Windows tasks and it will let your memory being used for gaming. So putting this command on your PC will help you to increase your FPS and also improve the performance of your RAM. Now once again if you want to enable it back you can always type in enable mmagent mc and it will enable your memory compression. Now last step is always the best PC settings and for that you need to open up settings on your PC and once you're over here you need to search for storage sense. Now you need to go over to storage then make sure that your storage sense is turned on. Once it is turned on, go inside and make sure to click on keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system and app files. Right after that, also enable automatic user content cleanup and then make sure to run storage since every day, delete files in the recycle bin every 14 days and right after that, delete the files in download folder set to never. Then make sure to click on run storage sense now and it will start doing all of the job in the background. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. It really helps me out growing the channel. Also, make sure to join the channel membership for extra perks and to show some support to me. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.